YouTube is a video sharing platform home to many dramas and controversial stories. But out of the thousands of dramas on this website, which one has been the dumbest or most unnecessary? The last time I covered this topic was on Marina Joyce and how everyone thought she had been kidnapped in 2016. However, now I've remembered another story from 2017, a drama between two YouTubers that happened over a video game. This is the story of H. Story Delirious vs. Faceless. So the people watching this video who are subscribed to my channel need no introduction to who h Droid Delirious is or the Vanos crew, but most of you probably wouldn't have heard of the YouTuber Faceless and how Delirious got into drama with him. So Faceless, also known as Skunter now, created his channel in 2010. The types of videos Faceless would upload onto his channel were gaming videos on online survival games, ranging from Rust, Ark Survival, Evolved, and Conan Exiles. After uploading a fair amount over the next several years, Faceless managed to grow a decent sized audience of 200,000 subscribers. On the 31st of January of 2017, Faceless started a new video series on his channel playing the survival game Conan Exiles with another big YouTuber known as Max Mofo. Both were new to the game and spent the first few videos basically dicking around and learning how to properly play. After a few videos were released, Faceless uploaded a video titled Raiding H2 Delirious, where in the video when Faceless and Max Mofo logged in, Max Mofo Glitch spawned in H2 Delirious' base as they both played in the same server as him and many other Twitch streamers and YouTubers. 100% sure this is H2 Delirious's, but you're stuck in there. How the fuck? Touch the this wall. is H2O Delirious's 100%. I saw that rock guy, whatever his name is, standing right here. Alright, I, I see you. I'm right next to you. I'm right. Is there a wall there? Yes, there's a fuck. I'm in this wall. Tell me if you hear me smashing against your earth, it's fucked. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> After this happens, Faceless then moves on to the next segment of the video where he raids H2O Delirious' base. Earlier we were playing and we found H2O Delirious. Now, I heard him say in chat that he has a group of 15 or something. So hopefully they have a shitload of stuff and hopefully they're not all there because there's no way I can raid it if they're there. Oh my god, we're in, we're in. Come on, oh. Oh. oh my god. I think we're in. Come on, man, bust down. Don't fuck my pick. Don't fuck my pick. Loot. Show me the money. There's one bag, 11 items. Shortly after uploading this video, H. Joe Delaris responded to it by commenting on Faceless' video. And by reading this comment, he obviously wasn't very impressed by this. Not my base, you dumb shit. We left that area long before it got raided. Way to use my name, though. So after this comment was posted, Faceless addressed it on his next Conan Exiles video, making fun of Delaris for how petty this response was, and also apparently proved that the base Faceless raided was actually H. Joe Delaris's. Not my base, you dumb shit. XD. We left that area long before it got raided. Way to use my name though. Not my base, you dumb shit. Okay, so I had a look at the guy's stream that you've been playing with, J-Rock. And if there's no way that this was your base, then there's no way that this is you walking around on the roof of that base. Clearly the base that I was in. And then there's no way that this could be you role-playing having a dinner date on the roof of the base that I raided. Because it wasn't your base, and you've never been there, you've never seen this. What was oh, guiding this thing? Okay, come up here. I'm going to show you what I was going to show you. Yeah. Have a date with me. Oh, it's so romantic. So if you want to lie and say it's not your base, when it's clearly your base, that's up to you. So yeah, after this interesting comment from Delaris and blocking Faceless on Twitter, Faceless continued to upload videos on Conan Exiles with Max Mofo. For a month straight, both players grinded the game and ended up building a huge base. And that is until March 2017, Faceless uploaded a video titled Our Last Video, where he showed how his and Max's base had gone completely raided and destroyed. Everything is smashed. Everything. You know how we had 13 blacksmith tables down here? All smashed. Yeah. Everything's gone. Oh, God. Oh. Everything. They've smashed everything. How have they even got in? Go to here. And we go to here. This is all ours. But our base is gone. And half of these are gone. After this discovery, Faceless then went on to explain how every time he had uploaded onto the channel, someone would log into the server and destroy their base. So last time me and Max played properly was probably getting close to a week ago. At that time, everyone had just left the server to go and play on the uh, public roleplay server. So pretty much 
the last episode that you would have seen, the really long episode, um, there it was just no one on the server. So no one has been on this server for a week since then. And when I uploaded the Oasis video, literally, I, I don't even know, it must have been straight after that got uploaded, that's when we got raided. Then, oh, when I uploaded the video where we rebuilt and got some shit going um, before we built the base, and then we got raided again. So in order to see who had destroyed their base, Faceless had to use a website and pay $5 to see who was last in the server. And I'm guessing that you probably know who it was. I'm fucking so excited for this information. Yeah. Huh, okay, Twitch RP content creators. Full history. When, okay, so when did I upload the video? I uploaded the video at, it went up at about nine. So we'll say 10.30 a.m. On the third. Is that gonna Search. like? Are you gonna be looking at some server-based time for America or some bullshit? How do you know? It's oh, running a what do we have here? Oh, BS. It's not showing players that connected between 1:30 p.m. to 2:30 p.m. I uploaded the video at 9:30 a.m. H2O Delirious joined 1:39 p.m. <laughs> left. Him. Left. 3.08 p.m. Duration, no 1 way. hour, 28 minutes, 57 That's seconds. That's actually fucked. That is... So after this video was released, H2O Delaris' video started getting bombarded with dislikes and hate comments to the point he had to disable comments. Delirious uploaded a new video today that received over 8 thousand dislikes h2o delirious has gotten so many hate comments he has turned comments off on that video delirious then went on to address the situation on twitter by tweeting holy shit destroy a base on a game made for destroying bases and they cry about it it was a dead server no one else plays on it so after drama channels such as keemstar and scarce made videos on the situation faceless decided to upload a video ending this entire drama by explaining what he thought about the whole situation where he just discussed how him and max didn't really care that they got raided that they just thought it was extremely petty for delirious to wait for them to upload a video so he could log on and destroy their base because Faceless raided his base one time. Also, Faceless showed how Delirious was going to get punished on the server since griefing was actually against the rules of the server. And it's not like he was just raiding us. He was wiping everything. He destroyed our horns. He destroyed our beds. So he wasn't just raiding us. He was griefing us. And apart from it being just lame and sad as hell, it's against the server rules. Not that we really cared or even complained, but after this whole thing went down, you can actually see here me talking to one of the admins in the Discord and she saying that she wants to punish him. And I was like, ah, don't worry about it, it's, it's fine. And she's like, no, you can't be doing that. Because obviously, if you go and check the actual server rules on Twitch RP, he went against our rules and clearly grieved us. So everyone that was saying that Max and I were crying over the game and that we were sad that our base got raided, once again, we didn't really care. We understand that it's a part of the game. We were just calling Delirious out for being obviously a salty nerd because after we raided him originally, he took time to rejoin a dead server that he wasn't playing on and grief us three or four times. So what is my take on this whole drama? Well, I actually mostly side with Faceless and Max Mofo. The reason I say mostly side is because at the end of the day, it's just a game. And a grief base on a survival game isn't gonna kill them, which they both acknowledged. Looking back at this whole situation, I do think it was kind of petty for Delirious to wait till Faceless uploaded so he could grief their base after his got griefed. And you can't tell me that Delirious wasn't pissed off about it because he did block Faceless on Twitter and call him a dumb shit. But you know what? Who cares in the end since this whole drama was completely stupid. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this nostalgia trip to old YouTube drama. And as always, I'll see you in a bit. Get out the